What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Titanavix video. Today we're going to be opening up some packs and uh, I have a great um, game store for you to check out when you're in town whenever you visit Las Vegas. Uh, it's pretty close to this trip I would say. It's um, just just up Desert Inn um, to Jones and um, they will end up to Commander Games and there's um. There's also some like really nice restaurants over there too, like some nice Chinese restaurants. Um, China Mama, I think, is kind of one of the more popular restaurants um, um, for like the Las Vegas Valley for Chinese food. So, I mean, that's maybe something you can check out too while you're making the trip. So, definitely a win-win situation. But um, there is the address there. There's the phone number. Um, I just love them. I love all the. I love the workers there. They have some very nice people there. So just go ahead and check them out. They'll be able to take care of you. But um, like for instance, I went in today and I was just, uh, you, know, um, you know, talking about the new set with Ray there. He's, he works there. And um, he was just basically let me like thrum, thrum through some of the open singles that they had. They had like a, you had just like kind of a, a stack of cards. I mean, they also have displayed cards, but it was really nice. Like I got like pretty much exactly what I was looking for um, through the new set, so um, this is gonna go like right into my uh, Brago deck, the Thousand Moon Smitty. It's just fantastic. So uh, just a really cool token generator, and um, very excited to, to pick that one up. So very cool. And then additionally for my Maria deck, um, the Dowsing Device, just a, a nice and common, and it's just gonna be just a perfect card for us. So I was very excited about picking those up, just by like thrumming through some cards. And then we also picked up a nice foil uh, Seagate restoration there. So that was sweet. Really nice one there. So very excited about my pickups there. And then um, we can kind of just get in right into it. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, picked up um, about six set boosters of Lost Caverns of Exelon. And then um, additionally some uh, collector boosters of uh, Walls of Adrain. So like we're just gonna get these going here and just seeing how we're gonna be rocking this out. So easy to open these ones. So um, I'm kind of looking for some dinos. Definitely, we're gonna kind of kind of get get the vibe for how to open these up. Kind of look. Um, so we get like a nice little foil there in the front. That's a common. Okay, so this is our rare here, preacher of the schism. So I've heard good things about this card, actually. Um, people are pretty stoked on it. They they think it's pretty pretty strong the way that it can just kind of um, kind of defend as a two four. It's got like, like a nice body with a death touch too, and um, it can get on the offensive too. It looks like here make some vampire tokens, and uh, if we have enough if we have enough more life or we're tied for the most life, we draw a card and lose a life. So that's kind of interesting. So a, a lot of a lot of text there. Creature of the Schism. There we go. Idol of the Deep King. Kind of just kind of move through these commons. If I see anything that I've kind of... This just got recently banned in that Pioneer format. I don't know if in Modern as well, but it was part of like a combo. The Geological Appraiser. Lots of uncommons. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Waylaying Pirates. Nice. Soaring Sandwing, nice little flying dinosaur there. Armored King Collar, and then um, what is this rarity? L. It's very interesting. Lost Caverns, I suppose. I see. <coughs> now was this part of our original top set? No, I think we got a blue foil, so this was in the back. All right, so hidden volcano. It is. Oh, it's a land, of course. Okay, I got you. Doesn't have a specific rarity or anything. Okay, so then it has a nice, interesting, like, discover here. Discover little value on that land. How interesting. Okay, and it does enter tap. And then we have our art card. Sweet. So you can get some of the, um, like, cool, cool cards in here. You can get, like, Mana Crypt, such as that. So um, that's kind of cool. I know it's very rare, like it could kill, like you could go like a case through and just not even open any, right? So I think we are going to 
you're gonna get a foil on the top, so we end up getting a rare foil. And then um, I think it's just, I don't think there's like a tease. I think you just go right into your rare or your mythic. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it's a cold night here in Vegas, guys. <laughs> but we're all right, we're all right. All creatures get XX till end of turn, where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. How interesting is that? Kind of just like a destroyer. Maths, mass board wipe. Unstable glyph bridge. What does this do exactly? It is an artifact in light colors. How interesting. Let's see. Unstable glyph bridge. When unstable glyph bridge enters the battlefield, if you cast it for each player, choose a creature with power two or less that player controls. Then destroy all creatures except creatures chosen this way. Okay. And then what's the back view? Okay. Whenever an opponent casts a spell during their turn, so it's an enchantment or it's an artifact. How interesting. Hmm. Okay. So this is like selected board wiping for five. <coughs> And flying, whenever an opponent casts a spell during their, their turn, they can't attack you or planeswalkers you control this turn. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Each opponent who attacked you or a planeswalker can control this, war, this turn can't cast spells. Oh, how interesting. Very interesting. That's the craft here. So you have to craft this. It has to meet a certain, um, you know, set of uh, criteria. So you exile this artifact, exile another artifact control or an artifact card from your graveyard. Okay. Okay, so not so hard to meet that criteria. It's a very interesting card. No doubt about it. Very expensive. I can see that maybe that kind of is a deterrent. Oh, got it. A vampire. Sacrifice another creature or artifact. Put a 1-1 counter on Bartolomo de Presidio. <laughs> okay. Soul Coil Viper. Stingy, look at all these black creatures. <coughs> They're so, so nasty, huh? It's, a, it's, a, it's like a little viper over here. Oh, interesting. So interesting cards. Stinging Cave Crawler. Hmm. Chupacabra Echo. Nice. Cool. There's a dinosaur. Hmm. Maybe not the dinosaur we're looking for, but a dinosaur nonetheless. All right, all right, keep it moving here. I was like, kind of thinking about the set and I was like, man, there's so many cool dinosaurs and I kind of want like a deck built with like dinosaur tribal, but it's kind of hard to do that. Oh, this is a huge card, that's fantastic. Oh, it has some value. Um, like for instance, like, it's really interesting, like, to go tribal, you really have to go for it, right? And, you know, I really feel like you have to start from the ground up. And there's so many cards that aren't dinosaurs that are just good in those colors, like red and green and white, that are, like, good support cards. And, yeah, but there is so many dinos, so I wonder if you could just, like, really, you know, you'd have to really start from this, start from zero. I mean, people who are already doing... Dino Tribal, I bet it's been very fun for them to have this set. I bet you guys are just having a blast. I could see, like, getting into the dinos would be very fun. So, this is, um, it's that nice little flash creature. It's a 3-2, and it basically can, um, counter a, like, an activated ability, um, a triggered ability. And, if an, and I think it actually sticks, right? So, if ability of... <coughs> I apologize. If the ability of an artifact creature or planeswalker is countered this way, that perma loses all abilities for as long as the, this this creature Tishana's Tiberian Tiberian remains on the battlefield. So if it like countered a Sheldred, 
trigger, um, it would it would continue to capture that trigger as long as this remained on the battlefield. But this is some some crazy art. It says is Quint. I didn't know it came in alternate art, so that's fantastic. So that's a hit. Put our hits like right here. Is Quint. My God, look at so is it is this is Quint or the little guy? Probably the little guy. He's probably the firstborn, right? He's like a little green dude. Little haster guy. See, I don't think we're gonna be getting too much more out of us. So these are set boosters. I think we've been running around one rare pack. We did get that foil <coughs> on top. That foil rare. <coughs> so that was pretty good. All right, let's keep this up. Okay, so like a list card here. Giant's Ire. Giant's Ire deals four damage to target player. If you control a giant, draw a card. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, it's very expensive, obviously. Oh, to a player. Oh, interesting. Okay, Giant's Ire. There you go. Ooh, ooh, it's a foil. Ah, cool. Hey, that's nice, guys. Aklazots. Yeah, this is one of CGB's new favorite cards, huh? It's fantastic. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a good commander card, it seems. Comes like a good um, historical brawl card, too. Um, lots of value to be gained from this guy, and the lifelink is very cool, and the, um, the drain. Very nice. Yeah, so we'll read it. Akalots, the deepest betrayal, a three colorless, two black, flying lifelink. When uh, Akalots attacks, each opponent discards a card. For each opponent who can't, you draw a card. Okay, so if they're empty handed, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw. <clears throat> oh, and it's for each opponent, how interesting, very cool. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, create a one one black creature token with flying. Oh, so they must discard no matter what. How interesting. When Alkalots dies, return to the battlefield, tap and trim someone under its owner's control. The foiling on here is fantastic. It's so like, it's so like, sub so like uh, subtle. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Temple of the Dead, it's fantastic. Look at that little totem there. Looks better on the camera than in person too, to be honest. Um, <coughs> add a, um, so, I suppose when it dies, correct? Oh my god, I got two Aklazots in this pack. Shit. That's so sick. So when Aklazots dies, return it to the battlefield, tapped and transformed under its owner's control. Okay, so I must die to do this. Okay, we can add, we can add black. Is it tapped when it dies? I don't think so. No, it is tapped. Yeah, it is tapped. Okay, it's tapped when it dies. So we won't be able to use that mana immediately. Okay, so two black, two colorless and a black transform Temple of the Dead. Activate only if player has one or few cards in hand and only as a sorcery. Okay, so I believe that would just bring it back to the battlefield. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, transform. Fantastic. Well, there it is. So that's a sweet hit. There's a nice little foil Aklazots there. Fantastic. Uh, we got this um, big boat here, this red boat. This one, um, I, I remember, has edge of the battlefield. It deals five damage to a target creature. So that's kind of cool. It's a lot of damage. I mean, what else do you get for that? Whenever one or more creatures your opponent's controller dealt access to non combat damage, create a treasure token. Okay. Too bad it just keep, doesn't keep do, dealing that damage off for some sort of form of damage. That's a nice enter the battlefield trigger. All right, what else we got? We got another Aklazots. That's crazy, man. So there's there's two of them there. It's fantastic. What a pack. Two mythic. Two mythic, one rare. Wow, this is a good opening, huh? <gasps> Very nice. Um, so then, um, so this is Clayfire Bricks. This is an interesting one too. So. That's like a huge craft. 
and it's kind of like acts as like an ambitious farmhand at first. So you're going to, and also will gain you life seed. <coughs> and enter this, <coughs> excuse me. Enters the battlefield, you gain two life. And then we're, we're going to go ahead and craft um, for five and two planes. Exile this artifact and another artifact to control or an artifact card from our graveyard. Okay, that's not a hard criteria to build. Meet. And then I think we're going to get a couple gnomes out of this. Is that what happens? Okay, so when Cosmium Cus Kiln enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one -one colors, gnome artifact creature tokens, and those creatures, creatures we control as a whole get 1-1. One -one. Very interesting, huh? Let's run uncommon. Okay. And I have a couple different blue cards here. I did not get to draft this set, but um, this one's a pretty big flyer here. <coughs> okay, little value. Okay, this will be, be able to copy. Chart a course. Okay, that's a pretty big uncommon. The Scythe. Okay, out of air. Okay, interesting. So it's just, uh, it can also kind of be, it's like an essence scatter. I heard about this one, right? It's a, basically an essence scatter and like a more higher cost um, counter spell, kind of interesting. Runaway Boulder. <coughs> Brazen Blade Master. And then a hidden courtyard in foil. Fantastic. Alright. So that was an awesome pack. These cards are slick. Slick cards. Alright, so let's try to do let's try to do that again. That was fantastic. A braid. Chamil, wow, wow, wow. Sweet. Wow, man, this card is sick too. Okay, okay. So what do we got here? Spells we control can't be countered. Six colorless. At the beginning of your end step, discover five. It's pretty solid, guys. Pretty solid. What am I gonna do with this card? I mean, it just seems like it can go into anything early. Man, it's hard to say, right? Chamil the Inner Sky. It's got that like nice kind of sweet spot at six. It is something, I'll tell you that. It really is. Okay, so there's Chamil. Just rolling in the methods right now. And then uh, we have this new the needle, this is the stun, yet yeah, stuns. Okay, so we got ourselves a two colorless artifact. Anything special about this? Okay, not really. <coughs> it has a death trigger, it's kind of interesting. Diamond pickaxe for one, it has indestructible. That's interesting. So is this like a, kind of like a prying blade, I suppose. And it doesn't even have to connect. Yeah, the thing though, though, about prying blade for me is that it's colorless. And this is red, so it's kind of contingent on that. It doesn't really storm off in my Maria deck as well. It's too bad because it is a superior artifact. Yeah, it is quite better. You get a better buff and toughness and you don't even have to connect. You just have to attack. So, it's too bad. No commons here, nothing really, you know. Ooh, cool mountains. I haven't seen this in person yet, so. Very vibrant. Very interesting, yeah. That's very cool. Ooh. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I don't, I don't even know, like. I don't know. What, what else is going to happen? I think, I think we kind of reached our, uh, 
I have reached the peak here. Chamil, the, sh the inner sun. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so back to this. Anim Pakal. Okay, so that's our Chupacabra. Throne of the Grim Captain, so like a double rare here. Sweet. So um yeah, and then Pacal, she's 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 definitely taken me out a couple of times. She's great. What a fantastic uh card in the drill is snowbally. So you could a couple of counters on her, like just let her let it let the creatures swing a couple of times and you'd be dead. Yeah, there's kind of a wombo combo here, like with um with Intrepid Adversary, and this just basically like good stuff humans. And um, yeah, I mean, you, your gnomes get buffer, right? With Intrepid Adversary too, so it's like a go wide strategy, so it's just really strong. I think that's bomb. I'll, have to, I'll put it up here, because it's just a really good card. All right, and what's this one? The Throne of the Grim Captain. I've seen this one kind of go off. It has like a very, um, interesting criteria here to craft so um not not the easiest uh probably to get all of these creatures at once into your um you know li um your graveyard but once you do you can uh you can go ahead and craft this bad boy up and uh it's just a uh, like basically like an unkillable uh force in it uh it's pretty fantastic to see it happen, right? So, yeah, Menace Trample, Lifelink, Hex Proof. <laughs> Whenever the Grim Captain attacks, each opponent sacrifices an online permanent, then you may put an exiled creature card used to craft the Grim Captain onto the battlefield. Under your control, tapped in attacking, so they must sacrifice, right? Yeah, they sacrifice an online permanent. Uh, and then you put an exiled card that was crafted with this onto the battlefield? Did, Tapped and attacking? What the hell? This card is crazy, man. Yo, I want to play like this, uh, this janky card, man. So fun. Cool. I know all about the jank. I've been killing everybody since 1922 with that stuff. All right. So, now we have the, 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 sh the silky cards, the silky guys. Are... I will try to open this. To find the inner seal. I'd like to open it. Oh. There we go. All right, food. Song of Totentons. So yeah, there's like no like, um, you know, uh, what would you say, build up, it just goes right into it, you know? Whenever a player casts a spell, that player discards a card. Oh no, that's everybody. Iriet, each creature that's enchanted by an aura you control can attack you or a planeswalker control, that's sick. At the beginning of your end step, each player loses X life and you gain X life for X the number of auras you control each opponent. Feral encounter of the Dread Knight and Spreading Seas. So nothing much there, guys. You can still get the Beanstalk, right? Oh no, what a bummer risky. <coughs> um... You can get the confetti foils are good in here, I guess. And like, yeah, there's some nice ones, like smuggling tight. There's no like lottery card or anything. But it's just like a fun set in general, you know? So let's see what we get here. Spellbook Bender, it's pretty solid. Definitely a playable. Get all those auras. All right, see, that's our, our storybook card. Goblin Bombardment. 
Sacrifice a creature. Goblin Bombardment deals one damage to any target. All right. Let's keep it going. Twin Twins. An Azorius card. Exile target non-token creature. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next step. And step. Okay. There's a little body there as well. Okay, interesting. Timber Paladin, so a commander card. That's kind of cool. Let's see what it does. It's got a lot of text. As long as Timber Paladin is enchanted by exactly one aura, it has base power and toughness 3 3. As long as Timber Paladin is enchanted by exactly two, it has base power and toughness 5 5. As long as Timber Paladin is enchanted by three or more auras, it has base power and toughness 10 10, vigilance, and trample. Wow. Wow, wow. So watch out for that guy. Song of Totentons. Oh no, I think we I think we got a bad I think we got bad guys. <laughs> I think we did bad. Oh no. Our our uh, our throne of Eldraine was was bad. We didn't do good do good on that, I don't think. So that's okay. But everything else was fantastic. And don't forget to check these guys out. All right, Commander Games. Gary is the owner. He's very nice. He has a nice sister too, Anna, and Ray is working there as well. So go see them. They're really cool. Cheers.